Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 15. Now we'll introduce you to a new term called geometric mean. What is geometric mean? Geometric mean for two terms A and B is nothing but root AB. For example, we have 4 and 5. We want to find the geometric mean of this. That is nothing but root of 2 into 5. That is root of 20. Similarly, if we are supposed to find the geometric mean of 5 and 8, that is nothing but root of 5 into 8. That is root of 1. Let's suppose we are supposed to find geometric mean of 2 and 8. That will become root of 2 into 8. That is root of 16. And that is 4. Also, if you notice, if we have this term a, b, and root a, b, then these terms are in g, b. For example, we have 2 and 8, and this is root of 2 into 8. This also we can say 2 and root of 16 and 8. Also, we can say as 2 of 4 and 8. We notice that these are in g, b because when you say 4 by 2 that is 2 when you say 8 by 4 that is 2 so this is the GP with A is equal to 2 and R is equal to 2 similarly let's take one more example let's take 3 and 27 so here root AB will be root 3 into 27 so this also we can write as 3 root 81 27 and also this can be written as 3, 9, 27. So what we see that 9 by 3 is 3 and 27 by 9 is also 3. So this is also a GP with A is equal to 3 and R is equal to 2. Please note, geometric mean of two number AB is nothing but root of AB and we observe that AB, A root AB and B are in GP. We'll take one example of geometric mean. Here we are told that we have to insert three numbers between 1 and 256 so that the resultant sequence is a GP. So let's do this. This is 1, this is 256. So we have to insert three numbers. So let this be G1, G2, and G3. And we have to prove that or we have to insert these number three numbers in such a way that 1, G1, G2, G3, and 256 are in GP. So what we can do? We know the best form of geometric progression is A, A, R square, that form. So what I'll do is, I'll write G1 as A, R. This is A, R square, A, R cube, and this is 256. Why I have done this A, R, not A? Because the GP sequence we generally take is A, A, R square, a, a r square a r cube a r to the power 4 so here this is the first term first term will match to this term second term will match to this term third term will match in this fashion so since we have assumed this as a because this is a r so we can say that a is equal to 1 please note here we know that gp term is in this form a a r square a r cube a r 4 now we know that this is 1 and this is also a because the first term is a because second term we are taking a r sec third term a r square fourth term a r q this is a you know this this is a i write this and this is nothing but a r to the power minus. that's our assumption because we assume that this term is a a r square a a r a r square a r q a r so we can say that a is equal to one also, we can say that a r cube is equal to 256 because we have assumed that sorry a r 4 is equal to 256 because we have assumed that 256 is nothing but a r to the power 4. We'll put a is equal to 1, we get r to the power 4 is equal to 4 to the power 4 because we can say 256 is nothing but 4 to the power 4. 4 squares equal to 16 and 16 squares equal to 256. Or we can say r is equal to 4. Right. So we have r is equal to 4. Actually, r can be plus minus 4. 
So R can be found or minus 1. Now if you assume case 1, R is equal to 4. So the term we have is AR, that is 1 into 4. Second term we have is A into R square, 1 into 4 square. And the term we, third term we have is 1 into 4. So the terms are 4, 16 and 64. These are the three terms which we can add between 1 and 26 so that, so that the resulting sequence is. Now I will take case 2. R is equal to minus 4. So here the term will be 1 into minus 4. 1 into minus 4 square this is AR square 1 into minus 4 Q so what you get is minus 4 16 and minus 64 so even if we add these three terms between 1 and 20 256 the whole sequence is GP so we can show you this is 1 and this is 256 you say minus 4 by 1 that is minus 4 16 by minus 4 is again minus 4 minus 64 by 16 is again minus 4 and 256 by minus 64 is again minus 4. Similarly here also if you see, if you add 1 and 256 here, 4 by 1 is 4, 16 by 4 is 4, 64 by 16 is 4 and 256 by 64 is also 4. So we have two cases where we get the answer. That is 4, 16, 64 and minus 4, 16 and minus 64. Now we will learn the relationship between AM and GM. For two numbers A and B, let A be the AM and G be the GM, then AM is always greater than GM, greater than or equal to. This is a universal fact. For example, A is A plus B by 2, so A is A is a nothing but AM and G is root AB, so G is GM of two number. So A will always be greater than equal to g that is it we can prove this for example let's take a as 5 and b as 5 when i take both the number equal then it becomes equal so in this case am is a plus b by 2 that is 5 plus 5 by 2. gm is root of ab that is root of 5 into 5 that is 5. So here we see this is equal to 5 actually. So here we see am is equal to gm. Now we will take a condition where a is not equal to b. So we will say let's suppose a is equal to 5 and, and b is equal to 20. Let's take this. So here we find am is nothing but 5 plus 20 by that is 25 by 2 that is 12.5 when you're talking about gm gm is nothing but root of ab that is 5 into 20 and that is this is 2 so this is nothing but root of 100 and this is 10 so we see that am is equal to 12.5 and gm is equal to 10 so we can see that here am is equal to greater than g so if you see either am is greater than gm or either AM is equal to GM. We'll never have a scenario where AM is less than GM. You can try with some other values. This will always be greater. AM will always be greater than GM. Let's take one example. It says that if AM and GM of two positive numbers, please note this is positive here. A and B are 10 and 18, find the numbers. That is, they are saying that AM is nothing but A plus B by 2 this is 10 and gm is nothing but root of ab this is a these two equations are given we are told that we have to find a and b we can square this equation this this equation or we can say okay let's first take this equation so we'll say that this is nothing but a plus b is equal to 20 this is my first equation i just move to here this equation i can square this become ab square is equal to 64 because if you square this, if you square this, root of AB square is equal to AB and root 8 square is equal to 64. So we have got two equations. One equation is A plus B is 20 and second equation is AB is equal to 64. 
to solve this what we can do is this equation we can also say b is equal to 64 by a correct a b is equal to 64 so b is equal to 64 by a we'll put this value in this equation so what we get here is a plus b is nothing but 64 by a is equal to 20 or a square plus 64 is equal to 20a what we have done we have just taken a in the denominator this becomes a square and this becomes 20a or we can say a square minus 20a plus 64 is equal to 0 now we can factorize this equation we can say a square minus 16a minus 4a plus 64 is equal to 0 why because minus 16 minus 4 is equal to minus 20 and minus 16 into minus 4 is equal to 64 or what we get is a is equal to a into 16 and this is minus 4 is equal to 0. So a is equal to 4 or 16. So we will write this case 1 a is equal to 4. So when a is equal to 4 b is equal to 64 by a that is 64 by 4. So b is equal to 16. Now we will say case 2. Case 2 is a is equal to 16. So b is nothing but 64 by 16 that is 4. So we have two scenarios that is for a b we have two solution. One is a is 4 b is 16 and the second is a is 16 and b is 4. Both of this will satisfy our equation. So what we have done here, we have formed this equation a plus b by 2 is equal to 10 and root a b is equal to 8. We squared this equation to get b is equal to 64 by a and from this equation we got a plus b is equal to 20. We have replaced the value of b here, we got a quadratic equation. We factorized the equation to get the value of a is equal to 4 or 16. In case 1, when a is equal to 4, we get b is equal to 16. Case 2, when a is equal to 16, b is equal to 4. Thus, we got solution of a, b. That is 4, 16 or 16, 4. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.